Hello. I'm doing another video vlog. Uh, because I'm a little bothered by something I heard last night. So, like I said in the post, in the Facebook post that actually precedes this video. I'm going to say it again. Uh, I've been listening to Coast to Coast AM since the Art Bale days. Like, since, like, the, the, uh, I guess the early 90s. Probably since, like, I know since high school. Like, since I graduated, like, in 93, because I'd be out late, uh, because that's what you do when you're a teenager and you have a car. And you're out way later, you're out past midnight where nothing good happens. And you come home and you get ready to go to bed. Like, I can't sleep with silence. So, 90% uh, of the time, if my radio, or now my other devices, aren't on coast to coast, uh, they're on, like, NPR. But I gotta have something going on in the background. So, last night, I stayed up way too late. Because uh, I was pretty much doom scrolling the TV. Because I was trying to do my homework. And uh, so I go to bed and listen to Coast to Coast. And, and what they're talking about, I mean, the uh, stuff from the website is going to be interspliced in this video. So you'll see images from it while I'm talking about it here. Listen to this guy who came on the show. His name is Justin Harrison. And he has this uh, grief technology, is what he calls it. It's, I, honestly, it's kind of a cutting edge field. Uh, where, he's, where he's setting up a thing where you can create an avatar of a person who's died and you can interact with them like you would uh, if they were still around. And as a person who's dealing with uh, people who have died, uh, and really when I think about all the people that I know that have died over the last three years, I don't know that I would really be comfortable with creating an avatar of someone and coming to the computer to talk to them about whatever my issue of the day is. Because, like, I think about, like, Mel or my Aunt Carolyn or my cousin Bobby or even people I've lost long ago, like Rooster or Sammy or like or Nalana I can't think of people that I know that have died and their personalities and how big some of these personalities were and how expressive these people were and how they thought could be broken down to data points to put in a program for me to come back and try to talk to and one of the things that bothered me is is that what Justin said in the middle of the program was like, because Ian Punnett, who did an amazing job of trying to counterpoint what he was saying, uh, Justin made the statement, because his background is he, he had a motorcycle accident, he almost died, at the same time his mother, uh, who died within the last six months, apparently. Um, and my condolences to him on that. Uh, he trying to figure out a way to, to, to deal with his grief. And what he, what he said was the goal of his technology was to eradicate grief. And what it reminded me of was Tony Stark in Age of Ultron, where they're having an argument about why you created this technology. And what he says is, is that he wanted to put a shield around the world because he was failing to protect it. And what's a lot of the callers, the open lines is crazy. A lot of the callers came in and, and uh, a lot of whom who, who have recently suffered losses. And they were like, well, you can't like that. And there is a beauty. Uh, actually, it reminds me of the song Let Go on the, uh, um, which Zach Braff movie is this? I don't remember which Zach Braff movie this is and then put the, the name of the movie in this video. When I remember it. Um, it's Queen Amidala's in it. Anyway, um, but the song talks about, the song Let Go talks about this beauty in the breakdown. They, and that's what the people talk about, like how there's 
a kind of beauty in grief that because what ends up happening is and, and Justin goes into this whole thing where he's like no this will you can delete all the text messages and, and uh, delete all the emails or your videos or whatever this will this will kind of take the place of that and I'm like no and even e I've probably heard and this is what I thought about today and you'll hear it when you listen to it I've probably heard someone else's heart break like physically listen to them going through it uh, maybe 10 times in my life where I've heard like you can hear when it happens and there's a moment in that broadcast because the guy's talking about you can get rid of the text messages and the voicemails and stuff like that and that this will do that and you can hear Ian Punnett's heartbreak for this kid because he's like, no, like in the way he said it, like I sat up and was just transfixed listening to it because he's, he was defending, he's like, no, like, this Ian is an ordained minister, but he's like, set aside any of the religious context of, of grief. He's like, this is what it is. Like, it's a part of the human experience. You're never going to change it. You're not, you can't stop people from dying and you can't stop people from how they're going to deal with it. Your technology seeks to kind of help people or mitigate or whatever. And it just came off as, the first time I heard the show, or any show really, where the guy comes on about his product to an audience where the demographic might be uh, well within the range because a lot of the demographics of, of a lot of coach this, the listeners is, is older, older than me, like old, old. Um, and, like, I couldn't do it. Like, I treasure the fact that I can hear my parents' voices and my sister's voice and my friend's voices, like they call me, or there'll be a video, or we'll do a video call. Anything. I, like, the memories I have with people, I try to hold on to. Or like a voicemail or anything, right? I can't imagine getting rid of any of that for an Avatar. That that because he, like when I talk to my parents or I talk to my sister or any of my friends, any people watching this video, we can talk about anything, good, bad, or indifferent. And there's gonna be a human reaction you're gonna have to the things I say or what we're talking about. And there isn't an algorithm or a computer program or anything that's going to fix, that's going to recreate that thing, that spark, like the, the, the thing that makes you you. And I can't say I was, I was <sighs> perturbed, like disappointed, like I don't know. Like it just was one of those things where I was just like, I feel bad for this dude. He, it, it's like Tony Stark and Age of Ultron. Like I, I get where he's coming from. But I don't know. So, this went a little long. You're gonna see some other some post production stuff that I've probably never done before, and uh, we'll see how that works. But and I'm about to hang this. I went uh, thrift store shopping today. I got some new shirts that I'm gonna wear, and I got this painting for the set. That's gonna the set the wall, so it won't be like just this wall. Um, we'll see how that goes. So, uh, let me know what you think about that uh, in the comments of this video or comments below the post or whatever. Uh, next video, which I'll probably do tomorrow, will be an answer to a video I previously did where it talks about uh, what answers to the questions, like the, what advice I would get. So, all right, that's my thoughts. It's my video blog for today. Later.